to another Real Talk Reaction. This one here is for Shit's Creek, Season 2, Episode Number 10. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell while you're at it. Tell a friend to tell all their other friends that we over here watching Shit's Creek. Thanks. All right, so just one comment from the last episode to feature, and that's Del Guy, who says, Yes, all the scenes between Johnny and David were gold. Johnny feeling ashamed that he had to ask for money, yet unable to stop himself correcting David about pin number. David just rolling his eyes and anxious to be out of the situation. It's all funnier when you remember that they're father and son in real life. Yeah, that's crazy. It's fucking cool as shit ever. Yeah. It's just very cool. I love it. All right, let's jump into episode 10 right now. Continue on inside. Well, I hope we didn't catch the two of you with your pants down. <laughs> oh. I'm just joking. I can see they're on. No, we actually listened outside to make sure. We just brought some leftovers by. We had a little thing at the house last night, and we didn't want all the food to go to waste. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what? We would have invited the two of you, but it was kind of a political uh, like a just like that. Of, uh, pressing of the flesh and uh, greasing palms, that kind of thing. Greasing it wasn't palms. as much fun as it sounds. Oh, well, who wants an invitation to a big soiree when you can be met the very next morning with some table scraps? You know, <laughs> table scraps! <laughs> oh, they were talking about the other candidate? Yes. You know, I can't wait for this whole thing to just be over so we can all just hang out again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are off to the bank. Oh, yeah. We've got lots of donations that we need to deposit. <laughs> well, thank you. Bye. Bye. Those two are not as simple-minded as we thought. He is. He is. <laughs> Sex appeal is the guiding principle behind nursing uniforms. Obviously, you've never been out for Halloween, David. <laughs> so are you nervous? <laughs> this is like the first job you've ever had. No, it isn't. Putting your name on a line of edible nail polish isn't what I would call having a job. I was very hands-on, David. I came up with all of the flavors by myself. Even the one that poisoned all those people? David, the factory in Guangzhou assured us that it was lead-free. Guangzhou. Ugh. David. Anyway, I'm actually really looking forward to this. You look like a stick of gum. <laughs> like what, David? David. Well, how much did she take? Um, uh, I'm here to get a latte. Do you need anything? She's an IT manager, Gerald. She makes more money than both of us combined. I shouldn't be worrying about these things. I would love a hot tea. Okay. Um, is everything okay? Yeah, just chatting. Listen, let me give you some cash for that. I don't think that expense card is long for this world. Mm, okay, it's just that I have um, four more taxidermy peacocks coming this afternoon. Oh, I can pay cash for those. That's fine. Taxidermy peacocks? Don't answer that. It's either Gerald or the school, and I can't deal with either right now. Okay, um, this is really intense. So I'm gonna go get that tea. You're a doll. You're a What's doll. Is it burning, losing money or something? I don't know. It sounds like her IT person might be scamming hey. or something. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Um, I wasn't sure what the etiquette was for this kind of thing, so I just walked around the block a little bit. Oh, you can show up early or on time. Early is probably even better. Okay. Alexis, you wanted to be treated professionally, so I have to ask, where are the rest of your scrubs? Oh, wow. I thought this was kind of an either-or thing. No, they oh come as a She did not. Like maybe both. Those bare legs are dangerous. Tag? No, I'm serious. The animals can carry bugs or ticks that can burrow into your bare skin. Ew! Don't worry. We'll just have you focus on filing for today. Um, okay, awesome. Thank you. What so many about? files. I'll just dive right into this. You won't even miss your last secretary once I get finished with these puppies. Good news. Found you a loan repair. Helen must have left them. Phew. 
Thank you, Ted. Those are just perfect. <laughs> I'm really proud of her, though. Yeah, She's trying. Try Ronnie, hello you. You're looking well today. New khakis, I see. Are you enjoying your coffee? I was. <laughs> now is not a good time. Okay. Um, how are things with mittens? Uh, he, he's dead. Ew. I'm just trying to figure out what happened, all right? Okay, um, well, what am I supposed to tell Doris? Don't say anything to her. Just keep her company while I figure this out, okay? Okay, so I'm just supposed to act like nothing happened? Yeah, for now. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, how am I supposed to do that? Alexis. Okay. Yeah. She okay. can see in that cool of breast. Not at all. Do you have any, like, DVDs or board game I could borrow? Oh, usually we reserve those for our platinum members. Mm -hmm. uh, platinum but members. if you have a Ramoli box filled with puzzle pieces on that shelf there... Sounds like something we'd find at a serial killer's house. Mm. Big night plan? Um, I am babysitting tonight, so... You're joking. Mm-mm. Wish it was joking. Mm -mm. I you wish it was joking. They say how was your was. Oh my god. Can I watch? Mm -hmm. Or videotape? No, Can I bring friends? No. My boss's life is a bit of a mess right now, so I said I'd help out by babysitting her stepdaughter. And you're sure you can do this on your own? Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm a fully <laughs> capable human being. Um, if you find any Xanax lying around anywhere, can you just let me know about that? Just let me know about that. Yeah, about that. Pick up these treats while I wait. Oh, um, yeah, no, um, but these treats are actually gonna go on sale next week, so maybe you just wanna hold off until then? Well, I, I think he'd really like them. Yeah, <sighs> I'm sure he would. Really Spill like the beans. If he wasn't dead. Oh my god. Hot. Yeah, he's dead. But, but, the good news is. You're not. It's his dad? Yeah. But, um... But you're free, Doris. And in a way, so is Mittens. Oh, what happened? We're not sure yet. But I think that the important thing is that Mittens is no longer suffering. But what do I do now? Do I put him in a box? Bury him? <laughs> Ew. No, you don't Ew. Ew. No. Not right now. Okay. No, think about that right now. But, um, the upside, um, the upside, oh, is that Albert from down the hall can now come over for dinner without worrying about his allergies threatening his life. Hey, I think it's time that we find you a new love of your she life. She gave her a bright side, babe. Okay. She does have good customer service. She can talk to you. Don't wait. What is this? I didn't tell you Carrot this time, Because I didn't want you to back out on me. But you're going to be the only man here this evening. Well, I think I can handle that. Mm -hmm. Ronnie told me that her friends represent a key demographic. Oh my gosh, she's I assuming don't it's oh, women's it's... husbands. Oh. Mm -hmm. She thinks it's all women? I feel really good about this. And I think you just approached these women like you did Paula, our landscaper. Very strong, very forceful. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, she's... Probably gay too. Oh! Hello, Ronnie. Hi. Hello. Come in. Both of you. Both of you. Why is her hair like this? Why is her hair? <laughs> Has bad actors had worked on too? Um, yeah, you can always tell because their upper lips sort of. I mean, like puffs. Do you want more coffee? Yes, please. What's coffee? How old is girl? Okay, so we've run out of sugar. Um, do you want it still? Because I don't really.
You okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Something happened. Oh god, she came up here. <laughs> what? Nothing. Just d don't look on the bed. Shit. Yeah, that's on his bed, too. <gasps> It's okay. Needless <laughs> to say, that's the last time I've yeah, heard you. He's going to have to go get Stevie. Oh, oh, this is wonderful. Wonderful. And I would love to regale you all night with entertaining anecdotes. But I would be remiss if I didn't outline some of my policies for this community of remarkable women. Moira, could I have a word? You know, they all... Excuse yeah, us. Right? Ladies, family matter. I knew I should have left him home with the sitter. <laughs> Moira, why what? First of all, why did I let you leave here? Is a lesbian. Oh, Todd, you love to think women are flirting with you. No, I was just talking to someone over there who has a husband, a male husband. Everything all right? Yes, Ronnie. When you mentioned earlier that I might lock down a key demographic this evening, you meant what? Entrepreneurs. Everyone here is a member oh. of the Women's Business Association. <laughs> oh, Got it. I knew there was going to be a misunderstanding. And I think we're all ready when you are. All I'm missing is my teleprompter. <laughs> she wrote that but thought they were gay, or did she th what she thought it was? She thought they were all gay. Oh. That was going to be her key demographic. Oh, okay. I thought she thought they were black, or they were just going to be all women. You know. I have to say that I'm impressed. It's not everyone who can tell an old woman that her cat is dead this and is set up a love connection and sell our most expensive marble urn in the same three minute conversation. Well, I'm not half of 12. You run your own business. A household staff, yes. Ronnie says you've only lived here a year? That's true, Ronnie, thank you. But I am a quick study. Karen, I learned tonight that you run a gravel business. Yes, and you, Audrey, you manage a team of accountants. And you, Tara, you're very concerned about your inverted nipples. Which I assumed was public domain. There were which I assumed was public Why would you tell anybody? What, well, ladies, I'm, I'm not that different from any of you. I had my first job at the age of 10, sweeping up hair in a beauty salon. Mm. I will never forget the value of a hard day's work. Believe me when I tell you, if elected, I will put like just this. as much work into my time on council as you women put into your businesses every day. That's it. That's about the best you can get right there. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's default. Well, being in business myself, I've attended quite a few of these functions, oh, and this one was quite the success. Yeah, I think your wife's going to do okay. Well, she pulled it off, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Considering she came in, and well, we both did. Oh thank my God. You. Shut and up! Everyone was... Black. No, I mean that everyone was leaning... Younger. John, we should go. No, what I mean yeah. is that... Just uh, let go! I'm, I'm very comfortable seeing women with other women. Uh, yeah, that mm. didn't come out right. I, Ma Moira and I have been very, very supportive of the LGBTQ community. Oh, John. For, John. You, did I leave out a letter? <sighs> Thank you so much, Moira. <laughs> I love your friends. Let me get out of here. Oh, the dip was incredible. It's for, like he can't back out. He has yeah, to finish he, his he thought. Can't, he got to finish. Hey, you know, that dip. Why does it even matter? All right, that was episode 210 of Shit's Creek. And hey, this was very, uh, a, a very Alexa, Alexa's um, episode right here. And she did a great job. I thought she was going to flail out. But no, she recovered really, really good. So I think this job that she has now is going to work out. Um, uh, as for David over there, he's definitely got a plot line going on with his boss. And her situation was happening over there. I don't know what's going on, but it was crazy. But um, him with the babysitting thing, I thought that was going to be way more crazy, hilarious than it was. But it, it was just, it was very tame. And then Moira trying to do her thing. That was entertaining right there. That outfit she put on to come over there to um, the business entrepreneur females. 
I don't, yeah, I guess the husband, yeah, obviously he thought it was going to be. She did too. She wrote it that Yeah, she did thought it was going to be. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So that, I liked how she, she flipped it, turned around, and, and she still made it work at the end of the day. So I thought this was another entertaining episode, but this was a very Alexa-centric episode, and it worked. It did very good. So can't wait to see another one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I adore everything with Alexis's development, character development. I think it, it, I don't know, I just like geeking. I feel proud of her, like I'm invested in her character, and I feel like she's really trying, and I just, I adore it. I think it's, it, it's a perfect fit. I liked how the situation resolved itself, um, and I like that she is continue to grow so like i i just really like everything that's going on with her character and i just can't stop cheesing when i see her she's adorable um with david uh it was it didn't resolve or it didn't the, the it didn't play out like i thought it was going to but i thought that he managed to be super respectful yeah. and like not make the little girl feel bad yeah. and i just felt he held his own too in a situation that made him would make him really uncomfortable especially the fact that his sheets were messed up but he like held his own and was graceful and was just humble and like super supportive and i felt like that showed growth in his character too which yeah, i really appreciated yeah. um the whole mora part i was like anxious and like this is gonna be cringe worthy and it was to a certain degree but it also played out really well i think johnny ended up being more cringe worthy than moira because yeah. he wouldn't let it go like back up just leave this conversation yeah, alone he just wanted somebody to say it. um and, and i knew there was gonna be a misdirect but i didn't see the entrepreneur thing either no. that wasn't what i thought the misdirect was so well played um that's not yeah. the demographic yeah. i thought they were going for so all in all a very clever very good episode and can't wait to see the next one yeah all right well look thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Shits Creek Season 2 Episode 10. And until next time, people.